Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the Collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. It was our first strike. How do we find them next time? The Collectors will be more careful now, but I think we can find another way to lure them in. I wondered if you had something to do with that attack. Caden said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. I released a few carefully disguised rumors that you might be alive and working for Cerberus. I see. What were you trying to prove? I suspected the Collectors were looking for you or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. It was a risk, but I couldn't just wait for them to take another colony. You understand? We have to make sure they don't abduct anyone else. I want the Collectors stopped for that very reason. That's why we're doing this, Shepard. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you put your past relationships behind you? I'm free, clear, and focused on the mission. That's what I like to hear. Shepard, once you find a way through the Omega-4 relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. Let me worry about them. You just find us a way to the Collector homeworld. I just want to be upfront about your odds. You'll need everyone at their best. I've forwarded three more dossiers. Keep building your team while I find a way through the relay. And be careful, Shepard. The Collectors will be watching you. I guess we're really gonna do it. Hit the Omega-4 relay. Take the fight to the Collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, Makes you think. I need you sharp and focused if we're gonna get this done, Taylor. That's what I meant, Commander. I don't want any distractions when we hit the relay. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is, too. Getting some closure, you know? Incoming message from Admiral Stephen Hack at Alliance HQ. Commander Shepard. I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you, privately. I'll take this in my quarters. Commander, thank you for your time. I'll keep this brief. We have a deep cover operative out in Batarian space. Name's Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson recently reported that she found evidence of an imminent Reaper invasion. So why call me? Just this morning I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. What is Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and Alliance agent working in Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground in a Batarian outpost in Aratat. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out.
Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. You said Liara was here? What's she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus Systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? You're Commander Shepard? I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. I met a lot of people on Novaria. Could you be more specific? I believe the message itself should make it clear. Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. And our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? that the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. If you can pass a message back, tell her that I'm watching. Don't make me regret setting her free. You won't. She seeks only peace. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander.
Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. It's good to see you too, Liara. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... well... for the past two years. And now you're back, gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here, things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise, someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. Hacking a terminal sounds pretty easy. Why do you need me? I don't know anyone else I can trust. Hacking the security node won't get you the data. It just creates a minor glitch in the system. You'll have a short time to find a local server left vulnerable by that glitch, and upload the data to my system. I'm leaving my own system vulnerable so that the data can be imported during that short time. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara. Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. Why would Samara have to register with a Tracking Officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The Assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship, or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Serena? Who wants to know? Name's Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Maybe you could help me find him? <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. 
When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Who is she? A wealthy speculator with a nasty disposition. She's killed her business rivals, government officials. I heard she even took out her own sister. If anyone deserves killing, she does. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killers. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nasana's just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. Do you know anything else about Thane? Not much. He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Nobody hired him. I wanted to know who I was helping, and he said he's doing this job on his own. That he had to restore the balance of his life. I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. If he takes down Asana, I don't care why he does it. You're just offering your help? No strings attached? You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. Let's go, then. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight, as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. The towers are heavily guarded, and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. We might find him before it goes that far. Maybe. At least you'll know where he's headed. All right. Let's do this. Hold on. Too long, they'll be here to greet you soon enough. Good luck, Shepard. Still alive? I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Who attacked you? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. 
It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The monk said there was no time. Asana wanted us out of the way immediately. Then <coughs> the dogs. <coughs> Here, that should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. Really? This guy? Why? Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. Any idea how many mercs Nasana's got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. Why would Nasana kill her own workers? To her, we're expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. You should be safe here. Thank you. I won't forget this. Shepherd. Be right there. I think he went in here. We'll go get him. You go. Get your ass in there, and the fan is not paying you to stand around. Fine. But I... Ugh. I'll put them down!
change weapon. Rearming. Right away. <clears throat> this will put them down. Great job. Light mech. Going to cover. I'll put them down. Kill us. We'll go. We'll go. Hey, look. They're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, right? It's okay to come out. Have you seen anyone suspicious who isn't a merc? Well, whoever sealed us in here. When he found us, I thought we were dead, but he just closed the door and locked us in. Could be him, but that doesn't sound much like an assassin. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. I need to get to Nasana's penthouse. What's the quickest way? Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. They're still working up top. Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold, too. I hate working up there. Nasana's not exactly your favorite person? She's a hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. She works us long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. If you don't like the work, just leave. Easier said than done. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. We hear that anyone who leaves early tends to disappear. Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? How many workers were in the tower? Are there many more of you? Not alive. We were lucky. 
Well, some got out before the dogs were sent in. Maybe a few are hiding somewhere. I wouldn't stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody! Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Because she doesn't have a heart. Get moving! I've got a feeling that elevator isn't coming down empty. We should get behind... stuff. Enemy, have a pleasant day. Enemies in front! <clears throat> I haven't heard from teams four or five. Don't worry, my team's always ready to go. I don't know where he is. Not yet. Turn around, very slowly. Damn it. Tell me where the assassin is and I might let you live. If I knew that, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to you. You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? Tell me where the assassin is. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team... How about goodbye? What do you mean? We've got reports of him on multiple levels. We think he's traveling through the ducts. I'm not paying you to think. Just find him, now. What the? I'll put them down. Weakling. <laughs> I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond to something. Damn it! Are you guys all right in here? Get back! Get back! I'll shoot! Drop the gun, lizard. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. I said get back! I'll do it! Please, don't make me do it. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. What's your name? I... I'm telling. Don't... Don't come any closer. Talon, I'm Commander Shepard. I don't work with the Mercs, and I don't want to hurt you. I'm here to help. I... All right. Here. I, uh, don't feel so... Talon! He's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Are you the ones who shot the Merc? It wasn't me. What happened here? The Merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then his head just exploded. Talon picked up the Merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. 
and you showed up. That's very precise shooting. I'm looking for someone. Probably the guy who killed this Merc. Helen thought he saw someone following us, but he's been a bit on edge. I haven't seen anyone but the Mercs. Is the bridge the only way to the penthouse and the other tower? From here, yeah. It won't be easy. Mercs are patrolling the other side. Whatever Nasana's hiding from must be pretty scary. How safe is that bridge out there? The bridge is stable, but the wind's your real problem. If it doesn't throw you off, the Mercs will definitely try. There's a lot of them out there. There are still Mercs up here. You should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Tell him. Come on, get up. Can we go home now? Yeah, we're getting out of here. Thank you. Wait. 
Before you kill me, just tell me who hired you. Who do you think it was? Screw you. Charming. Kill me then, I'm not playing your stupid games. Well, you made it this far, now what? You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price, we can make this problem go away. Make me an offer. Double whatever you're getting. And I'll pay double again if you tell me who hired you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... So this is our guy. Good. I came a long way to talk to you. One moment. Prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. She certainly was wicked. Not for her. For me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. How did you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's Progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They told me it was impossible to get to Ilos, too. A fair point. You built a career on performing the impossible. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying? Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. Not to look a gift assassin in the mouth, but why are human colonists a concern to you? They are innocent, yes? Like all victims of the Collectors. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. <laughs> 